Welcome to Community Connections. I'm Superintendent David Broski. This month, we're here to talk about an online option that's right here in Clay County called Clay Virtual Academy. I know the importance of online education has certainly gotten larger with the pandemic that we're currently experiencing. Our district had an unprecedented shutting down of our school system for the fourth marking period. And from that, we've learned a lot about distance learning versus online learning. The district has put together a plan for reopening schools. Part of that plan is to give parents an option. One option is to come back to the brick and mortar school with many increased uh, cleaning protocols and safety procedures for our students. Even with all of those precautions and the coordination both with emergency management and the health department, the Clay County District Schools realizes that some parents still might not be comfortable with students returning to brick and mortar schools. If you are one of those parents that is concerned about coming back to school, today is for you. Our online version, Clay Virtual School, is a recognized school with an A ranking within the state of Florida. And today I have the leader of that school right here with us, Amanda Stillano. Welcome, Amanda. Thank you. Could you tell us your vision for the work and what actually happens at Clay Virtual Academy? Sure. Well, thank you for having me on today and giving me the opportunity to really highlight Clay Virtual Academy. I think it's an awesome opportunity for us to really shine. Um, our teachers and staff are very passionate about students and their education. Um, but what I'm most excited about is to be a support system to our brick and mortar schools and the parents and students that attend there and providing them with an option um, where they can still get a rich and um, engaging education. So for parents interested, what's the process by which they register to become a student at Clay Virtual Academy? Sure. So they can go to our website. It's oneclay.net backslash CVA. There's an enrollment tab there, and they'll find the enrollment application. They'll fill that out, and within a couple days, somebody from our staff will reach out and give them the next steps that they will need in order to become a student at our school. You know, as a district, I'm just so proud of how we did when we shut down schools and distance learning. I think a lot of grace and compassion was shown by students, mm -hmm. teachers, and parents mm -hmm. uh, in these very unprecedented times. And we did the very best job we could as a district, and I'm very proud of that. Mm -hmm. But you know, some people have questioned whether there's a difference between distance learning, what we experienced in the Fort Markey period, and also a traditional online program mm -hmm. such as Clay Virtual Academy. Can you, can you talk about some of those differences? Mm -hmm. Sure, and I would also like to commend everybody in the county who were able to put together a fourth quarter education for our kids in a very small amount of time. Um, but I would like to say that virtual learning is very different from distance learning. It is a rich curriculum. Um, it's very uh, rigorous. The students are expected to adhere to a pacing guide, and if they don't, they um, are removed from the class. Uh, they have to commit to at least a semester. The way virtual school works is that you don't get a grade or a credit till a semester is completed, so it's important parents and students know that because they can't go back and forth between virtual and brick and mortar. Um, there is um, effective, highly effective teachers. They're local teachers at Clay Virtual School. They'll provide one-on-one -on -one tutoring, um, online tutoring, on-site tutoring. They even go out to the schools and visit our labs as well. So there's a lot of support there. You know, some parents might also be concerned about having a well-rounded student, mm -hmm. so they might be concerned uh, about participation in other events that mm -hmm. happen at a traditional brick-and-mortar mm -hmm. school. Are those students eligible to go back to the uh, brick-and-mortar school and uh, participate in athletics and those kinds of things? Yeah, that's a great question. We do have um, some of our own clubs. We have on-site activities. We even do field trips through Clay Virtual. But certainly, if a student or wants to participate in a sport or an activity at their home school, they're more than welcome to do so. So if this is an option that parents are interested in, Please give them one more, one more shout out to how to do this. <laughs> how do you become a student at right. CBA? Well, first of all, just being a parent myself, I would recommend that they really research this and see if this is the best option for them and their family, and they can do so by visiting our website. We've got a ton of information there about our programs and course offerings. There's also some sample lessons out there and course videos, so they can really sit down and see what this looks like versus distance learning. Um, but if they decide that they do want to be a part of our school, we welcome them. And they'll, again, just go to our website, click the enrollment, tab and fill out the online application and we'll get to them quickly. So parents out there, click the enrollment tab and register <laughs> today if you're interested in Clay Virtual Academy. 
Parents, I encourage you to do that. If you know that this is an option that you want to exercise, remember, we have over 40,000 students in the Clay County School System. We want to provide the best possible service to all families across the district. And so having this information and knowing that that is really what you want to do with your child will be most helpful and greatly appreciated. Uh, that concludes our community connection for today. Hope everybody tunes in next month.